Learning objective B is going to focus on solving absolute value inequalities of greater than. Let me show you how to do it. It works very much the same way, except the graphing picture is going to look a little different. So absolute value is all by itself here, so break it up into its two. 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 3. 2x plus 5, flip the sign, less than or equal to, change the number to negative 3. Let's go ahead and solve. Um, to get x by itself, I'm going to minus 5. Give me 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, to get rid of multiplying, I divide. x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And the second one, again, to get x by itself, I'm going to minus the 5. So I get 2x is less than or equal to negative 8. To get rid of multiply 2, I divide. x is less than or equal to negative 4. So when I graph this one on a number line, I'll put 0 here, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4. I'll put negative 5, so forth. Um, let's just start with this first one. I need a closed circle at negative 1, closed circle at negative 4. Now, read it carefully. For this one, I want the x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Because x comes first, I can also follow the direction of the inequality, which is to the right. But the x is greater than negative 1 are to the right. For the second one, again, x comes first, so I can just follow the inequality, which is pointing to the left. But here's why. I want the x is less than negative 4. Those less than negative 4 are negative 5 and negative 6. So when you graph an absolute value inequality that has a greater than or greater than or equal to, this time every single graph you will see the two lines go in opposing directions. These are called rays, so they're in opposite directions. The, this type will never come together to make one line segment. Let's look at one more. I'm just going to break this up already. It's ready to go. 5x minus 2 is greater than 12. And then 5x minus 2, flip the sign, change it to negative 12. Let's solve them both at the same time again. To get this x by itself, I have to move the negative 2 first, so I'm going to add 2 to both. Leaves me with 5x is greater than 14. This one's going to be 5x is less than negative 10. That's 5 times x, so I'm going to come on in and divide. This is going to be x is greater than 14 over 5. This is x is less than negative 2. Now to graph, you may not know what 14 over 5 is, so you can just get your calculator out, type 14 divided by 5. This is 2.8. So if it helps you, I'm going to jot this down. x is greater than 2.8. So I'm going to go to 2.8, which is between 2 and 3, right about here. Open circle. I'm going to go to negative 2, open circle. If I go back to the first one, I want all the x's greater than 2.8, or in the direction of the inequality is the right. Those are all the greater than. This one says give me all the x's less than negative 2, or to the left, which is right here. And that is our final answer.